Kennedy Amendment Number 4983. Madam President. The uh, Senator from Louisiana. Madam President, I call up my Amendment Number uh, and Senator Cassidy's Amendment Number 4983 and ask that it be reported by number. The clerk will report. Senator from Louisiana, Mr. Kennedy, for himself and Mr. Cassidy, proposes an amendment numbered 4983. Uh, Madam President, I ask unanimous consent to be recognized. Without a for up to two minutes of debate, Senator Cassidy for one minute of debate, and Senator Schatz, uh, Schatz for two minutes of debate prior to the vote. Without objection. Thank you, Madam President. Could we have order, Madam President? Yes. Senators will remove their conversations from the floor. Uh, Madam President, in 2020, Hurricane Laura hit Louisiana, then Hurricane Marco hit us, then Hurricane Delta hit us, then Hurricane Zeta, then Hurricane Ida, all in a period of two years. Those storms caused $150 billion in damage. My amendment and Senator Cassidy's amendment will appropriate $2.5 billion in disaster aid to, to uh, Louisiana. That would include $600 million for housing aid for Hurricanes Laura and Delta, $1.4 billion in housing aid for Hurricane Ida. The amendment will also provide for $500 million in funding to rebuild Louisiana ports. Um, I, I'm mindful of the fact, Madam President, that we should make sure this aid is paid for. I would remind everyone that through the heroic efforts of Senator Schatz and Senator Cantwell, in which I played a small part, that we forced our FCC not to give away the C-band uh, in in, uh, to, to our telecommunications industry and instead auctioned it out in which case it brought in $81 billion. And I think we can uh, spare a little bit of that for people who lost their homes and businesses through no fault of their own. I yield. Madam President. The Senator from Louisiana. Madam President, I'll add to what my colleague John Kennedy said. If you fly over southwest Louisiana, you see blue tarps. Those tarps are there because the families have not had the money to replace their roofs. If you get on the ground, you see blighted neighborhoods. Those blighted neighborhoods where people have moved, their rooms are boarded up, criminals have entered, and those who have left are now prey to criminals. Criminals, And as they've left, the businesses have closed. Madam President, we do so much in this country for those who have been injured. And we appreciate in South Louisiana all that has already been done. But there's a little bit more needed to particularly benefit those who are less well off. So I join my colleague, Senator Kennedy, in requesting that additional funding to complete the job started so Southwest Louisiana can become whole once more. With that, I yield. President. The Senator from Hawaii. Thank you, Madam President. I respect my colleague's desire to take care of the people uh, and the needs of, of their state. And I agree there is a need not just in this state, but for a number of states that have been impacted by disasters in recent years, we must pass a disaster supplemental to provide funding for states fairly and based on need. Um, we wish that the SUP were in this bill, but it was not agreed to uh, by Republicans in the House and the Senate. Looking ahead, um, we ought to uh, pass uh, uh, a bill to provide $2 billion and permanently authorize the CDBG DR program. As for pay-fors, this is an important point. The spectrum sale funds that my colleagues suggest as a pay-for are already spoken for. That has already been used as a pay-for in previous bills, so we can't double count. And so unfortunately, I urge my colleagues to vote no. Thank you. Is all time yielded back? The question is on the amendment. Is there a sufficient second? There is. The clerk will call the roll.